very good morning warm good morning to one and all present here i am very much happy to find this opportunity for showing all of you this powerpoint presentation this is about a poem very interesting poem uh, the poem which is known as a nonsense poem in class 8 english textbook unit number 6 this poem is there it is written by a very famous poet whose name is edward lear let us see the poem uh, first of all let us see a biographical background of uh, this poet edward lear edward lear who was born in 1812 and who died in 1888 he was not only a poet but he was an artist an author and an illustrator as well as a musician he has composed a lot of poems lot of literary pieces have been composed by this very well known poet uh, chiefly we can say in literature this poem the duck and the kangaroo which is written by edward lear is chiefly known as a nonsense verse a nonsense poem it is uh, written with a humorous sense and uh, most of all of you will uh, enjoy this poem because uh, there are humorous elements in this poem but first of all let us see how the author how the poet uh, began his life how he composed and whatever uh, in short uh, we can say uh, his biographical background Uh, he began his career as an artist at the age of 15 years old uh, his father was a stock broker of danish origin he was sent to the doctor's prison when lear was only 13 years old so he was forced to earn a living so in short we can say at the very small age of 13 or 15 years old he was supposed to earn the money he was forced to earn a living he quickly gained recognition for his work in In 1832, he was hired by the London Zoological Society to execute the illustrations of birds. Let us see further more slides about the poem. Next, please. Introduction of the poem. This poem, as I earlier in the beginning, I told you, it is known as a nonsense verse. Nonsense verse in the sense it has no sense. Simply, it is ba basically on the imagination of the poet. in which in this poem uh, the two characters the duck and the kangaroo are the animals my dear children uh, you may be knowing that there are so many literary pieces in which animals or birds are the characters these kinds of literary pieces are known as the fables but this is a fable in the form of a poetry in the form of a poem in which uh, the duck and the kangaroo who comes into contact by a very particular occasion in this poem a duck who has a desire the duck has a very close desire and the desire is to go beyond the world to find happiness because the duck is not happy the duck is very much confined to a small pond where she does not like to stay anymore and that's why when the duck finds the kangaroo's life very happy he also becomes very much desires to live happily as the life is lived by the kangaroo so the poem the duck wants to uh, be able to jump around in the world like a kangaroo and he asks the kangaroo to take him on its back the only desire is the duck wants to sit on kangaroo's back to move ahead in the world the duck wants to see the world and that's why that's way by that way he wants to become happy the poem elaborates the desire of a duck confined within the limits of the pond to go beyond and travel the world like the kangaroo did the duck request here the duck makes a humble request to the kangaroo to allow him to sit on his back side and move ahead with the help of the kangaroo actually the duck is very much hopeful and sure that the kangaroo will 
allow him to sit on his back next please let us see in the next slide the duck and the kangaroo let us see the poem said the duck to the kangaroo good gracious how you hope over the field and over the water too as if you never would stop my life is a bore in this nasty pond and i long to go out in the world beyond i wish i could hope like you said the duck to the kangaroo this stanza tells us that the duck is not happy in the small pond where he at present stays and that's why when the duck finds the life of the kangaroo he wants to become to become happy like the kangaroo and that's why he makes a humble request to the kangaroo to allow him to sit on his back and to make a journey next please see this another slide the duck and the kangaroo next stanza please give me a ride on your back the duck makes a request to allow him to sit on his back say the duck to the kangaroo i would sit quite still and say nothing but quack the whole of the long day through and would go to the dee and the jelly bully over the land and over the sea please take me a ride oh do say the duck to the kangaroo the duck makes a request to the kangaroo to allow him to sit on his back and along with this request the duck also tells him that he will not make any discomfort to the kangaroo he will not do something something uncomfortable while sitting on his back he also says that it will say only one word quack and nothing more than that this is a humorous element next please let us see how the kangaroo responds to the request made by the duck say the kangaroo to the duck now the response of the kangaroo this requires some little reflection perhaps on the whole it might bring me luck and there seems but no objection which is if you let me speak so bold your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold and would probably give me the rheumatism said the kangaroo actually kangaroo is ref not if you actually refusing but he reflects he wants to say that i have to think something more because your feet are very much cold and along with that cold feet if you sit on my back side i will feel discomfortable i will feel uncomfortable and it may be a problematic for me to go ahead to jump ahead to hope ahead so here the kangaroo actually does not refuse the request made by the duck but he tells the duck about his own problem and actually the kangaroo is worried about the discomfort that may be created by the ducks sitting on his back side let us see how uh, how the duck uh, brings the solution of this problem let us see another slide please say the duck now see how duck brings the solution of the problem the said duck as i sat on the rocks i have thought over that completely and i bought four pairs of worsted socks which fit my well fit neatly and to keep out the cold i bought a cloak and every day a cigar i'll smoke all to follow my own dear true love of of a kangaroo the ducks how humorously uh, the duck brings the solution and the duck says that don't worry my dear friend kangaroo don't worry about those problems if you are worried about my my cold feet my cold webbed feet i have already a solution to this problem when i was sitting on the rock i thought about this and i have the solution and the solution is that i have already gained the worsted socks of what a high quality type of woolen yarn i have the worsted socks means the duck wants to say that i will wear i will have i will wear the socks into my legs and that's why you will not feel cold while i sit on your back side this is a humorous it is not actually possible then also this is actually the imagination of the poet and the poet has uh, given the imaginative the words 
to the duck and the ducks and the duck tries to bring the solution how humorously and how in a nonsense uh, uh, way uh, the duck is given these words see see i sat on the rocks and saw the uh, thought over the completely and i bought four pairs of worsted socks the duck says that i have four pairs of worsted socks means i have socks already when i will wear the socks into my legs into my feet you will not feel the cold and you will not feel at all any kind of discomfort let us see under the slide now the kangaroo how kangaroo becomes ready to allow the jaw the duck into <coughs> his feet the kangaroo says i am ready all in the moonlight fell but to balance me well dear duck sit still the kangaroo uh, tell her, the kangaroo is ready now uh, and it gives permission to uh, the duck to sit on his back side but on one condition they will start their journey in the moonlight and quite at the end of my tail kangaroo says that you will only sit at the end of my tail and not in the middle or in the uh, first part of my body the kangaroo says that you will sit only at the end of my tail is it possible for a duck to sit on the tip of the tail on the end of the tail not possible but this is this is uh, we can say the humorous humorous way the humorous uh, uh, humorous element of the poem where uh, it is not possible for the duck to sit on the tail then also the kangaroo allows him to sit on the on the tip on the end of the tail and it says and they hold the whole world three times around and who so happy o oh, who as the duck and the kangaroo so by giving this permission kangaroo helps him to go beyond the world they uh, went around they go beyond the world while crossing different forests different rivers different places and they all were very happy so in short we can say uh, this poem written by uh, the famous poet uh, edward lear is totally a humorous poem and in english literature it is known as a nonsense world because the events the events of so for example see all of you children my dear children the events of uh, giving a permission to sit on the end of the tail asking for a permission and going beyond the world these are the elements of humor simply you have to enjoy the poem and understand the central theme of the poem although it is a nonsense verse but this kind of fantastic ideas which are based on the imagination of a poet we have to enjoy it i am sure and i hope that you will enjoy the poem and you will uh, develop a sense of imagination a sense of humor a sense of how to create a nonsense poems uh, like this dear children you will be i think you will be able to create and compose some other poems based on the same theme but giving some other other sides of humor other other aspects of imagination other uh, imaginative ideas by uh, giving the path to these kinds of poems i think it is uh, enough for all of you and i'm sure i hope that uh, this powerpoint presentation uh, which is based on the poem the duck and the kangaroo uh, is uh, uh, <coughs> an inspiration to all of you and you will be always uh, happy to find out some more and more uh, poems like this uh, but uh, chiefly uh, this poem which is really an imaginative verse and imaginate uh, based on an imagination of the poet you will learn uh, a learning outcome a uh, very important aspect of uh, poetical talent dear children uh, through this poem we can also learn we have the path we have gained the perspective the idea and the way how 
to compose a poem with a uh, such a good sense of imagination a good sense of humor and although it is known as a uh, nonsense verse but then also uh, as a learning outcome as a learning uh, learning point we learn a lot of things in this poem because although it is a poem about animals the characters of the duck and the kangaroo we learn an aspect of creation a composition and how a poet's imagination becomes powerful to give the shape and creation to such a humoristic poem so my dear uh, children in this poem the central theme is a fantastic idea a fantasy an imagination and uh, that uh, that is successful uh, only because of the imaginative ideas the nonsense kind of element in the poem and likewise like this poem this poem you will also get the opportunity and chance to learn more and more such poems that you find in your library thank you and thank you very much